Hey, this is my first day back to work after being overseas and at VidCon, and uh, this is my welcome home. Welcome home, says the computer. Someone smarter than me, tell me what this means if it's not RAM, because I feel like it's either my motherboard or CPU, and that's scary. For context, I was rendering something that was taking half an hour to render and nearly finished rendering, and while it was rendering, I was working on a new thumbnail, which I got halfway through, and then I lost all that progress, so. Yay! All right, a bit of time has passed. I've finished my thumbnail. I actually remade the thumbnail. I had prepared this one beforehand, and it looks fine, especially when, you know, it's the only thing you're looking at, but I guess the thing about thumbnail design that I've learned is you have to design it in the context of a lot of noise, and my thumbnail already has a lot of noise, and it's not very clear what's going on. Like, there's monster stuff in the background, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a little confusing. The text sort of does clearly say what it is, but the visual picture isn't grabbing enough for me. So I redid it, uh, mainly because of what I mentioned, but also the facial expression here. I was going to just sort of redo the mouth and have him look more shocked, but the thing about VR content is if I have a VR headset in the thumbnail, it uh, it removes a lot of the expressiveness, and that that's one of the grabbing things about thumbnails. So uh, to add the VR thing, I obviously put the controls in my hand, but I, I just kept the face because it's just got to be more clickable and the new thumbnail has a lot less noise and it's a lot clearer what's going on. You've got a monster behind him, you've got the same text, but it's also much cleaner. So while I do like this design and some of you might prefer this, the thing is like, I mean, let's just go to my subscription feed, right? All right, so here's a bit of context. A lot of noise happening here and my thumbnail in amongst that noise or the old thumbnail it's gonna be pretty hard to, to sort of stand out in the spot so uh, that's why I sort of did this because I figure that is gonna be much clearer and I hope that sort of makes more sense even just putting them beside each other it's just yeah I, f I feel like it gets there oh you can see the little preview there there you go old thumbnail up here in the context of everything else and then we have new thumbnail so there you go I feel like it's just a bit more grabby. All right, after all that, I've finally done the thumbnail, I'll render the video, it's uploading and processing. So while I wait on that, I have a little bit of cleaning to do. The office is in a little bit of state, but mostly I have some unpacking because of my overseas stuff. So all the cameras, and then I also have to set stuff up to film a video today. Even though I'm overcoming jet lag, I gotta get back on the schedule. So uh, I'm gonna do all that, set up a thing, and, and I think I'll just do something pretty simple. I actually, uh, think I might do something with my app because A, it's been a while since I've done something with my app and B, the updates for iOS and Android are rolling out in like the next week. So Rob, fantastic work and to everyone who's submitted and been a part of the beta testing, thank you. Uh, we, When I said we wanted to get it back on track, we meant it, you know, and so it's happening starting this update and then we have some really cool features planned over the next year that we're going to be implementing. So that's very exciting. So yeah, it's good to get back on track with the progress of the development stuff, but also with sort of sharing with my community because it's been a while since I've actually used it in a video or properly sort of made it the content of the video so I'll do that today oh look at this lovely clean office everything's so clean except for over here don't look over here this is uh we don't talk about what's over here but this this on the other hand looks gorgeous I should mention uh look at this look look look, look at this most most of you won't even know what's changed here but this used to be a sliding door and since I was away, I got a change to a door that closes like this. Oh, 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 and look what I did. Look what I did. See that cable? See that? No, you don't, because it's freaking hidden and so freaking neat, because my cable running mad skills. And that's my toilet. Things are going to change, uh, and this is just one of the ways I've prepared. It's, that's a clue. This is a clue. I'll, I'll explain the door thing later, but uh, I'll, go, I'll go into later in this vlog after I, I'll record some videos. Uh, but next, starting next week, there are going to be a couple of a couple of things changing. One big thing in particular, uh, and another thing that I wanted to wanted to show you guys is I've had a few arrivals in the mail. This seems to be more free beef jerky. Hell yeah, Geronimo! This is a Huey on tablet, which will be in a sponsored video, which I'll record probably next week. And this is the Vartist suit. I'm not going to open this today. And I'll get to that again later for, as to why I'm saving it till next week and a few other things I'll explain. I'm being needlessly mysterious, so just uh, hold on for another couple of minutes and I'll get to that later in this video. But for now, I need to avoid distractions, and all of those are distractions right now, because I want to. I'm feeling really productive today, if you couldn't tell. Look how friggin' neat my, my office is! I'm gonna record two videos. 
because I'm feeling crazy and I just had a massive coffee to help balance out the jet lag and frustration I experienced with the crashing computer earlier today. And now I'm feeling a little too good. I haven't done this in a while, let's see if it still works. <clears throat> okay. Turn on the showtime lights. Sure, turning the showtime ah! lights on. Let's get to it. Let's get to recording some video content. Oh, no, oh, that was a mistake. But that's okay, we can make it work. Ah, you know the slurping. All right, you've got a little leg. There you go. There you go, and you got the, there you go, the other leg. Ah! All right, now we need some shorts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I'm saying all you want to this crotch. I think that's done. I've finished the first video and it turned out surprisingly better than I expected. I did four pictures and the last one I created using Copic markers and everything. So the first few were fairly subpar, but I almost feel like I warmed up because the last one impressed even me. So you do have that to look forward to and genuinely look forward to because that was kind of funny how it turned out. Anyway, uh, time to move on to another video. Uh, I can't really vlog a segment of me working on it though because I'm gonna use my phone to do the, art, the whole Arty Games thing. So I'm gonna click my finger and then I'll have finished the second video. There we go. I'm all done recording my videos. I recorded two videos. I'm on a productivity spree. And that is because uh, there, there are, some, there are th some things I'm prepping ahead for that I'm very excited about. And I'm gonna stop being mysterious and just start talking about what's changing here. Um, basically, to just jump straight into it, we're employing someone full-time starting next week. It's gonna start off as a bit of a trial period. So it's not an internship because it's paid, but there's someone, and I'll tell you the full story about it uh, when I introduce you to him next week, who's going to essentially relocate and work full-time here with me in my studio and be a full-time production assistant, and I'll be training him to edit my videos as well. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, it's, it's a little scary too, I think, for him and also for us because... Uh, We've worked by correspondence with some editors and, and we have some people who work on location, but this is a very, this is going to be a very intense change, but I, I feel like much with some of the other very intense changes we've gone through on this channel and, and just sort of in the last few years, it, it feels like a necessary step to, to reach sort of new heights and I'm always trying to reach those new heights. So. It, it's an unknown at the same time. That's why we're calling this first period of time a trial period because, uh, you know, we want to make sure that it's not a waste of his time or our time and, and it's going to be a lot of work for both of us to, to try and see if it does work. But if it does work, and I'm really hopeful that it will, uh, that's that's really good because it can lead to a, a, a lot more stuff, a, a lot more uh, projects that I can do that are bigger in scope because I'll have help and also more videos because part of the reason I'm doing this Actually, a major reason, reason I'm doing this is because I want to go back to three videos a week. I've not felt satisfied coming back to two videos a week just from a, a, a um, content standpoint on the channel. I've, I've really loved the quality of content I've put out, but there is something about quantity that the algorithm loves uh, and that helps with channel performance and keeping things growing over time. But I don't want to sacrifice quality. So that's why we're, we're trying this out. Why this relates to the door, let me explain. <laughs> when I had a sliding door, it wasn't very good at blocking smells. And our new friend is going to be right there. So, you know, I mean, everyone's used to their own flavor, but I don't want to give this new person a rude awakening. So I, uh, I seriously spent several hundred dollars getting someone in to, to do this so that I'd so that that is not the reason we lose our new employee. <laughs> so I'm, I've been very productive today. The room is clean so that it's not a shocking entry for, for this new friend who's probably watching this video. I'm not, I'm not saying by name, I'll keep it a surprise until next week when I introduce him. Um, and I've got a couple of videos, one which I'm gonna edit with him and the other which I'm gonna hand over to him to, to give a go himself uh, after a bit of training. So we're gonna just jump straight into it next week. That being said, speaking of jumping straight into it, uh, questions of the day. Can, can Commence starting next week and in this video. So leave your question of the day down below and uh, instructions on that as usual are in the description. Use a capital Q with a colon so I can find your questions and answer them. But yeah, big changes. This is a big, this is a big one. We've never done this before and, uh, and we have no idea how it'll turn out, but we're, we're optimistic and hopeful and, and I think a lot of us are going to be working hard to make sure that it, it works well. So 
Uh, I look forward to introducing you to him when that happens, but for now it's the weekend. I got a lot done for now, and I'm going to spend the weekend relaxing and getting my body clock back to Australian time. And, uh, and just, yeah, looking forward to the future because there's a lot of stuff to look forward to, including the unboxing of the VR superhero suit, which I, I'm saving because that'll be fun to vlog and I'll have someone to help me vlog it because he'll be able to hold the camera while I put on the suit and look goofy but awesome at the same time. I can't wait. So, yeah, lots to look forward to and I will see you next week.